I'm joined here with Terry Barber, who will be performing the music of Andrew Lloyd Webber at the Vic Juba Community Theater here in Lloyd Minister on February 10th. Thank you so much, Terry, for joining us today. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having me. My first question for you is, do you mind telling us about some of the music in the show? So this is the music of Andrew Lloyd Webber, which um, out of all my tour programs is probably the most performed and requested. The thing I love about Lloyd Webber repertoire is that when you look at any one composer, they tend to have a style and people tend to like, you know, kind of this one style that it, that it fits with. But when we look at Andrew Lloyd Webber, you could really be a fan of musical theater or maybe a fan of classical music, or maybe even a fan of rock and have something in this program by Andrew Lloyd Webber for you. So I'll be singing songs from many different shows, kind of the hits of Andrew Lloyd Webber. Um, so of course you're gonna hear uh, Memory from Cats um, and some things from Phantom of the Opera, which is the longest running show on Broadway um, from Jesus Christ Superstar, from Evita, um, you know, so many different shows, but kind of certainly the highlights um, so I hope that when people come to the show, they're going to hear that song that they were hoping to hear. And then there are a couple of things I'd like to potentially introduce them to. Maybe a song that they leave with that might be a new favorite where they think, wow, um, this is as great as anything else Lloyd Webber has written, but maybe it's not one that I knew as well. Now, is this just one show or is it on a tour? It's on a tour and I've got um, Grace Field who's going to be with me. She won a Tony a couple of seasons ago now um, for her work with Broadway Inspirational Voices. Um, they're the first uh, vocal ensemble to ever win a Tony. And with Broadway Inspirational Voices, not only did she make her Broadway debut um, in the 25th anniversary production uh, that was televised of the Disney's kind of um, celebration of Disney really on Broadway, um, which was hosted by Whoopi Goldberg. Um, and then she also, with Broadway Inspirational Voices, sang with Hugh Jackman on the Today Show. Um, so uh, Grace is a phenomenal talent. She's a soprano um, that can sing everything from kind of popular styles to le legit, and she plays the piano. Um, so she'll be uh, joining me and we'll be doing some duets and, uh, and so they'll get to hear her as well. Now, I know it's been very difficult for performers the past few years. How important do you feel it is to have performances like these during COVID-19? Of course, uh, the world needs the arts for so many reasons. Um, and, you know, my biggest goal always as an artist is to elicit emotion, to help people feel, right? So we're gonna be on a, a wild ride in this show from things that are um, really touching, romantic, um, certainly heartwarming and sad and like, you know, and hilarious. So we're kind of gonna be on a wild ride. And I feel like a lot of us cope with some of the most difficult things that we go through in life through mm -hmm. the arts. It allows us to express and, and experience all these emotions um, and, and it's very therapeutic. So, you know, getting together with a group of people to have a shared experience is also a unique to the arts. It's not something that you do when you're watching something on television and it's something special. So we really need this and we need to get back to it. And um, having that living, breathing audience is something special and different for the artists too. We, it's, it's not replaceable, so. And what inspired you to choose Broadway songs for this tour? I love singing musical theater. Um, I started out in my undergraduate program doing a musical theater uh, education as part of it at Northwestern University. Um, and I feel like whether I'm doing classical or rock or musical theater, all of the text and subtext is some of the most important <laughs> part. That's my dog in the background chiming in, he agrees. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, this musical theater is a fun uh, genre to perform. And again, you know, in this Andrew Lloyd Webber in particular has so much of variety within his composition that allows me to kind of show off some of my classical training and classical love. Um, and my countertenor voice, because uh, countertenor is the rarest voice type. And um, so I'll be showing off a little bit about that, what that is. And, and, um, and but also um, in the kind of traditional musical theater styles that you expect of Broadway, you, you know, we're gonna hear some of that. And then um, there are things like Jesus Christ Superstar, for example, uh, where you really are wondering, is this rock? How did we get from here, musical theater to here? So, um, you know, I, ch I like to perform this program in particular because of the range. It's very entertaining. Um, it's not just kind of one sound for an hour and a half. You know what I mean? 
Um, so it, it allows us to take a journey together. How does it feel to be able to be doing a career that you love and you're passionate about? Sometimes I pinch myself, I have to say. Um, I have made a career doing what I love. Uh, and especially since 2013, when I stopped auditioning for other people's companies and started controlling the material that I tour, what I think my audience wants to hear, um, and hiring the folks that I want to work with that I'm inspired by and that I think will be captivating for the audiences. Um, I really have enjoyed it even more because in this, I'm kind of the producer and the mm -hmm. casting director, the writer of the show and the lead artist. So it's very rewarding. Uh, and I'm, I guess I'm living the dream if you, uh, if you have to uh, say it in some, some terms. Well, thank you so much. Uh, that's all the questions I have for you today. So I really appreciate you joining me here today. I'm so glad that you're doing this.